So there, my brainwash does is Josh with the hair to coming at you today. Hi, how you doing? So uh, I wanted to talk to you about this thing called hypergamy. Hyper meaning uh, in excess or exaggeration. Uh, uh, per, uh, gammy means fertilization. Um, so excess fertilization meaning that you're seeking a spouse that has a superior caste or uh, exceptional qualities beyond your own. Okay, so um, the th interesting thing about hypergamy is that hypergamy basically means that um, somebody, see, like let's look at, um, uh, what is it called, uh, the, the peacocks. Okay, everybody knows about peacocks, even though they don't really talk much about peahens. Peahens are, practice hypergamy. And what they do is they find birds of a more fantastic color than their own, and uh, to the point where the males become super over exaggerated in their their uh, plumage like super exaggerated in plumage and the more exaggerated their plumage is the more that the females find them attractive now what's funny is is then in the human culture there is also hypergamy and uh, women are constantly looking for men that have an excess of physical attributes than themselves whether they be smarter uh, stronger, faster, more agile, uh, across the board, it's a higher status, more money, whatever. If a man has an excess more than the woman does, then she, and she mates with him, she practices hypergamy. Now, this is an instinctual trait that all women have, in the, in, and uh, all are seeking men that have greater attributes than themselves. Which is interesting because women are in our current society are super worried about being equals, right? They want to be equals with men across the board. They want to say like, oh, I, I, want, I want men to treat me as, as if I'm equal. Anything a man can do, I can do also. But yet they constantly are finding men, they're mating with men that have superior attributes than themselves. Which I find ironic because... <laughs> It's a self-defeating concept, okay? If you are only mating with men that are superior to yourself or only are attracted to men superior to yourself, how are you going to find men that are equal to you? It doesn't make, like, you want women to dominate men, but yet you mate only with men that are superior to you? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> women wonder why men are superior in almost every physical attribute available. It's because of hypergamy. You know what I'm saying? It's like these women that are so... In, uh, they are so inundated with their own instinctual desire to mate in, with hypergamy that they have created a, a, a gender that is superior to them in almost every way, shape, and form. So I don't understand. So, so in our culture, if you are rich or famous or strong or, or more agile or more athletic or whatever across the board or smarter, those are the men that mate, and the men that don't mate are the ones that are weaker, uh, have less money, have less fame, have less, you know, across the board. They're, so so what happens is, is that you end up with this society of, of men that are stronger, and they're wondering why women can't be equal to men. Well, there's a reason. You keep choosing men that are stronger, faster, or better than you in every way, shape, and form. Now... I find it ironic. Okay, now as a Christian, we are supposed to be finding, we have, I have no problems with hypergamy. I really don't. I, I, it's a reason why men are supposed to be dominant over women. It's, it's the reason that men are supposed to be superior. And I know this is not a popular mentality to have, but it's true. This is the reason why men are supposed to be superior. Now, from a Christian context, hypergamy is improperly, uh, um, manifested uh, because in a Christian society hypergamy should be manifested in only one way and one way only if a person has superior knowledge or understanding of God or superior faith in God than you then that is the kind of man that you're supposed to mate with that is the kind of man that you're supposed to take as your husband hypergamy <laughs> I our society is so bass backwards that it makes it so that our whole societal structure is messed up that that the whole family unit is destroyed there's divorce after divorce because women will not submit themselves to the men that they've that they've bred to be superior 
I don't understand. Women choose their mates. Okay, and, and that is fine. You, you, you want to practice hypergamy? Go for it. But make sure you're practicing hypergamy in the right ways. Don't practice hypergamy when it comes to fame or fortune or um, looks or, you know, I'm saying like uh, just uh, athleticism. What you're supposed to be practicing hypergamy on is spiritual things. If a man is spiritually superior to you, then that is the man that you're supposed to marry. I am so frustrated with these modern concepts <clears throat> of hypergamy where everybody, all these women are like, I want this type of man. I want this type of man. But yet when they get that type of man, it's like, why don't you see me as an equal? I'm like, well, because I'm better than you. And that's why you chose me. I'm sorry. So anyway, <laughs> I don't know. Why. So anyway, this is, this is the topic. I, I, I'm, I'm flabbergasted at, at the, the hypocrisy of women today that they get so upset that men think themselves as superior to women, but yet they continually mate with men that are superior to them. I, it doesn't make any sense to me. So women, if you want to be equal, stop mating with men that are better than you. If you, if you, don't, if you want to mate with men that are better than you, then you're going to have to be submissive. I'm sorry. One of the two. You can't have it both ways. I'm sorry. It's just not how reality works. I'm the heretic. My name is Joshua Ostras. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, blah, blah, blah. I'm putting it in the descriptions. Um, I hope that this entertained you or at least upset you or got you, you know, interested or I don't know, whatever. But this is my issue. Hypergamy. Either do it or you don't, but don't complain about it when you don't, you, when you get the results that you do. So anyway, you have a great day. You know, I love God because I love virtue, justice, and salvation. Saturdays at 10 o'clock, I have my, um, live stream when we're covering Corinthians. Yeah. You have a great day. Yeah. Bye-bye. Ah, what's up?